Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking about yakitori, which is a popular Japanese summer barbecue food. It's also popular in izakayas and uh, in Japan all year round. But I think the most popular time you're gonna find people cooking at home is at their summer barbecues. So I'm gonna fire up the grill. So I'm gonna fire up the grill and we'll get cooking. Now there's two main types of flavors for yakitori. You've got shio, which is salt. Then you have a salty soy sauce flavor, which is called tare. And there's a lot of different types of yakitori we can have, um, but today we're gonna to be focusing on the three, three of my favorites and three most popular in Japan. First of which is negima. Now negima is essentially chicken thigh with uh, spring onion, right? And it's by far my favorite. It's really good with tare. I really recommend it. Second is kawa. Now kawa is just chicken skin. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, that, that can't be good. No, it's, it's really good. It's, uh, it's oily. It's not the healthiest, but it is delicious. And third is tsukune. Now tsukune is basically ground chicken that's been uh, formed into meatballs put on a skewer. Now all of these are on a skewer, so Yakitori, by definition, is just bird meat, right? So grilled is yaki, and tori is bird, so bird meat. And all of these are basically chicken skewers, if you were to simplify that in English. So most yakitori is actually cooked over charcoal, which we're going to do. But I like to get a, a fire going with leftover uh, scraps from projects. It's a little bit easier for me. I don't have a, a charcoal flute, so. Hopefully we'll get this to light nice and easily. We'll throw some charcoal on top of it after. Now, yakitori is traditionally cooked over charcoal at summer festivals and New Year's festivals. I like to use wood just to get the fire going. Once I have a nice little fire, I start adding some charcoal before putting the the grates on top of the grill. So in a restaurant or a traditional festival, they're gonna have a special yakitori grill that's uh, you know just wide enough for the yakitori sticks to stick on so that they're not actually touching the fire. That way they'll, you don't burn the end of the sticks and you can eat it a little easier later. I don't have one of those, but we can make a makeshift one with just two pieces of scrap wood that have been soaking in water and some aluminum foil. Just take our foil. Wrap it around the wood like that. It doesn't need to be perfect. All right, we've got one. Two. Right. And just like that, we've got a nice little improvised yakitori grill. All right, so we are going to throw our yakitori onto our grill here. We're going to cook these for about five to ten minutes and uh, rotate every two minutes. And, uh, We'll put some tare on a few of them and we'll keep a couple of them just uh, shio. So we've got our tsukune, our negima, 
and our kawa, which is, uh, again, this is chicken skin, really delicious. So let's give that a few minutes to cook up. Let's go ahead and start just uh, turning these over. They're already smelling really good. We're not going to add the uh, tare sauce until these negimas are just about done, then we'll, we'll throw that on there. So another popular barbecue food in Japan is roasted sweet potato. So, very simple. Just going to wrap it up. So you're going to want to put two or three layers of foil on these, and we're going to throw them on the grill here, and they're just going to cook slowly over the next couple hours. To make a really great sweet dessert after you're, you've gotten through your savory yakitori. So these are going to be on the grill for, again, you know, one, two hours or so, depending on how they're going. They're going to be delicious. All right, now that these have been on the grill for a few minutes and flipped over a few times, we're going to add a little bit of the the tare sauce I was talking about earlier to a few of these. And mm, that smells excellent. Now that our yakitori is nice and cooked up, we're going to toss it on a plate and get ready to eat. Alright, now our delicious yakitori is ready to eat. But you should always eat yakitori with a friend. Wait it. All right, you ready to eat? Let's eat. Hmm. That is delicious. There you go. Yes. Thanks for watching guys. If you like my video, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notifications. I really enjoy making these videos. I hope to make some more food videos, some more motorcycle videos. If you want to learn more about Japan and you want to share Japanese culture with me, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. See ya.